man by the name of Richard Hollingshead had a unique problem. Him and his mother loved cinema, but unfortunately his mother was a large woman, could no longer fit in the tiny theater seats. So he had this novel idea of placing a big screen outside and using a projector. He could pull up the car and his mother could sit with him and they could enjoy a film together. Well, neighbors saw this and they wanted in. Friends heard about it, they wanted in. Everybody thought this was an awesome idea. And you know what, Richard opened the first ever drive-in theater in New Jersey in 1933. Drive-in theaters grew in popularity across the United States. In the late 50s, there were over 4,000 open to the public. They used 35 millimeter film projectors and you listen to the broadcast through a speaker looking at a pole right outside your car. Unfortunately, the interest in drive-in theaters has waned and steadily over the years they've closed. There's only 330 left across the entire United States. However, the technology of old has been replaced. They're, most theaters are now equipped with digital projectors. There's uh, FM radio transmission so you can listen to the broadcast right through your car radio. Drive-ins are often more affordable than a traditional movie theater. Also, they're more social. You see folks grouped together on blankets, throwing around a frisbee or playing miniature golf before a picture starts. Also, there's special events like classic car nights, nights where overnight camping is encouraged, and particular favorite of mine, Horror Fest in October. There's a wonderful feeling of nostalgia as you enjoy this relic of the past and enjoy an evening under the stars. Join me as we travel around central New York and check out some of the awesome drive-ins we have to offer. This is the Finger Lakes Drive-In located in Auburn, New York. First opened its doors in the summer of 1947. That makes it the oldest continually run drive-in in New York State. It's a one screen drive-in theater that holds about 300 cars in its lot. Some of my favorite features here are the sound. You get to use the classic speaker boxes or you can use FM radio or you can use their new Wi-Fi anywhere. You can listen to the broadcast right through your phone or transmit to a Bluetooth speaker. If you're on a blanket or using lawn chairs, that's an, that's an awesome option. Also, they uh, deliver right to your car so you don't have to wait in line at the concession stand. Uh, if that uh, feature is not available, they should be right down your cell phone number. They'll call you when your order's done. That way you're not just standing around in the building. Man, this is a great theater. If you want to pay homage to one of the oldest and greatest, you got to come to Auburn, New York, Finger Lakes Drive-In. This is Bay Drive-In, located in Alexandria Bay, New York. It opened in the summer of 1968. It's a two-screen drive-in theater that holds 600 cars in its lot. Bay has some unique features. It's the only drive-in theater in New York State that has an indoor seated area to watch the films. It's screened in to keep the bugs out. You can reserve it for parties and gatherings. It has a beautiful 50-style cafe. Over here at screen two, you have the regular posts. You can listen to your broadcast through FM radio, but over at screen one, you actually get a choice. You can listen to it through FM radio, or you can listen through the classic speaker boxes. For those of you who are wondering, you can switch between films at intermission, if you like what the other side is showing better. This is a very well cared for drive-in theater. Uh, it's a must visit if you're taking a uh, little trip up to A Bay. Good evening. It's intermission time. Our service is friendly and quick. You'll find hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza, your favorite candies, hot and cold beverages, and other delicious snacks. So add to your fun of watching the movie.
Visit our refreshment stand right now. This is the Midway Drive-In located in Mineto, New York. It first opened its doors in the summer of 1948. Yeah, it's been open for six decades. It's a one screen drive-in theater. It holds about 600 cars in its main lot and uh, even more in the overflow. I consider the Midway my hometown drive-in. It's the one that's closest to me and it's the one that I grew up going to as a kid. As far as my favorite features, well, at intermission every single night, they do a drawing for a free pizza. Also, it's home of the triple feature. On uh, weekends, they do three movies for one low admission price. Uh, also, the concession, it is the most reasonably priced food that you'll find at any other drive-in in the area. If you're in the area, come check this place out. You'll probably see me here. This is Black River Drive-In, located in Black River, New York. It was built in 1950 and ran until the mid 80s when unfortunately the concession stand sustained major damage in a fire. It went dark, closed its doors for 20 years. Thankfully, the then owner of the Midway Drive-In, John, and his partner, Lauren, they actually uh, pretty much rebuilt this place from the ground up and uh, reopened the doors in 2006. It's been open ever since. Black River is a one-screen drive-in theater that holds about 550 cars in its lot. My favorite features here are the retro feel of the concession stand, it's nightly drawing for a free pizza at intermission, and I am a huge fan of its location. You drive down New York 3, pretty much in the middle of nowhere, uh, head into the uh, slightly paved, slightly uh, gravel uh, road leading to what feels like the middle of the woods. It's surrounded by trees. I'm a huge horror fan. This is where I want to be to watch a horror movie. You literally feel like you're in the middle of the woods watching a film. It's fantastic. If you're in the area, this is a must visit. So there's four examples of uh, drive-ins here in central New York. There's, there's many more actually. Um, New York is rich in drive-ins. Uh, I'm so lucky uh, up north. I want to mention uh, 56 driving in Messina, uh, east of us. Uh, Queensbury has a beautiful uh, um, drive-in called Glen Drive-in. It's a two-screen. Below us, we have uh, Elmira Drive-in, and to the uh, west, of course, we have uh, Transit Drive-in, a uh, five-screen drive-in theater. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, I, I would say visit any of these, any of these, if you're in the area. Um, uh, down below, if you're if you're not in this state. I'm gonna leave a uh, very top uh, link is uh, uh, how you find a drive-in close to you. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope you uh, get a chance to watch a film under the stars. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing and checking out some more videos from us. If you like what you saw, feel free to give me a thumbs up.